in a normal country, Obi will be in prison. In a normal country, Obi, Peter Obi will be will be in prison for a very long time to come. Yes, um, that was uh, that's a very funny statement. Although those allegations were strong, um, Asari Dokubo is alleging lots of things against Peter Obi, and it's not really cooling down, and it's not going well with um, whoever is hearing it. So. Uh, I will all the obedience to calm down. There is no cause for alarm. Nigerians too should calm down. There is no cause for alarm. Now, um, straightforwardly, I will go straight to the business of the day. You're welcome to the Nation Voice Tower. My name is Angelo Himalayas, your anchor. Aisha Yusufu, um, one of the spokespersons of the Labour Party on her channel, um, came up to relay plans of the Lamidi akpapa led faction. Okay, and especially she is trying to um, display to the public where Akpapa um, is um, even issuing a statement about um, the fact that um, um, Asiwa Dubola Ahmed Tinubu should be constitutionally sworn in. And then according to this, this is coming from a chairman or a factional chairman or a self-proclaimed chairman of an opposition party who has a case or who has a petition in court or before the tribunal yet unresolved and then you're alleging or you're you're relaying to the public or to the tribunal that asiwaji should be sworn in constitutionally before everything begins we are not saying otherwise but um that is on nigerian political or that is on political of a real nigerian politician according to um what i'm trying to explain to you here so we will be um, seeing where she said that and then um, she also gave in response to all their plans and she also has good news for obedience and Nigerians. Aisha Yusuf will trust her. She and the, she and the other people uh, in, in the Labour Party with the faction of um, the Julius Abure have a very great plan on ground for the Lamidi Apapa led faction. Listen to her and watch her say it. Oh, Mono be small thing, no. <laughs> ah, oh, Mono. Like I've always said on this whole issue, is that in strategy that you used to be this people, it's not gra gra. You must be thinking one million steps ahead of them. Uh, the Apapa, the one, is it Apapa? Lamidi, right? Lamidi Apapa, I think that's the name. It's the one they're trying to use to cause all sorts of things in Labour Party. Uh, there's this report where he's, he, he said that, uh, oh, that Tinubu should be sworn in. There's no any constitutional, whatever. There can't be a gap. He has made the constitutional requirement and stuff like that. And also something like, hmm. <laughs> hey. um, if, had it been that it was, it was Labour Party that had gone to, to file this uh, uh, petition and not uh, Peter B is not there as his own self. That's why they will now come and say that oh, Labour Party has withdrawn the case. Anyway, they are there. I think they. Are there. I've heard that they are going to. They are going to go to court tomorrow, and hopefully uh, we're going to get that live uh, on on uh, uh, on this channel. That's going to be put out live where the case where they're trying to make Lamidi. Uh, the chairman, but the thing is that for everyone to understand, even if Labour Party today withdraws the case, uh, it doesn't it doesn't affect anything because Peter B is there as his own petitioner. He's there, also uh, standing on his own. Uh, so it was a joint case they had. Uh, the only thing would be if there are other parties, other candidates who is the party that is running on their behalf. I don't know much about that, but anyway, like I've always said, and I'll say it again here, strategy, strategy, strategy is what we used to be those people. It's not being angry. It's not being mad. It's not being emotional. It's just being that cold, being cold-hearted, just focused on the issue, tonal vision, no matter the distraction, we are not going to get ourselves involved in all of that. That's all we just need to do. Well done, everyone. Keep going on. This man did there. By the grace of God, they go return her. They know still and well at all. They leave too many evidence. Eyes on the judiciary, don't forget. Thank you. Um, that was um, Aisha Yusufu. Now, my take on that is simple. Um, if there is no pain, there's not going to be gain. Okay. So, um, the Julius Aburo led faction is facing tribulations, challenges, and persecutions right now. And I believe so, so well that um, very soon they will reap. Um, the dividends of their level so they should fight it with all their mind and all heart 
strength and blood because this is the right, right time to fight um, any form of um, inferior um, interference okay by any sort all right now um i will remind you that the lamidia papa led faction is on the wild goose chase i tell you because i can't see them making a headway in any of this okay for a lamidia papa for um, abayomi arabambi and for anselme rabbi and other factional um executives of the lamidia papa led faction there is no headway you are on a wild goose chase i tell you that so Next to something very important, this would wow you because um, this particular part of this update is something I kept for the better time for our viewers who remain or uh, who have been staying glued to us. Mr. Kat Ononuju, a prominent chieftain of uh, the Labour Party and a personal assistant to Peter Obi on media, has blown up the secrets of the independent national electoral commission and professor mahmoud yakubu i am saying this with my heads up he has publicly come to expose the trick and antics that was played by professor yakub mahmoud on the 25th of february being the day of the presidential elections and the same trick played on the day of coalition okay this secret exposed by catch or non uh, will shock you so so much because um even the tribunal are yet to have um this secret or uh, even haruna well justice haruna tamani is yet to lay hands on this evidence okay and um this evidence may be the final nail on the coffin for the independent national electoral commission for asiwaju bola ahmed tinubu and then even for the all progressive congress so i will allow you watch and here um the the exposition of the secret by um mr ononuju and then um he came on a particular tv station not a popular and regular tv station okay he came on a particular tv station to expose this and then you watch the exposition after watching i'll give you my take on it card reader that was fingerprint biometric authentication it has now been upgraded into a bimodal that means it takes your fingerprints. It also takes your facial recognition. I pray in future it will progressively come to include the iris and plus the body mass, which is exactly what we currently have in our digital passport protocols. It is a very good thing. It had no problem at all. It worked very, very well. The lack of its proper use in the final tabulation is as a consequence of fraudulent manipulations as you have seen we have been able to get access to the hosts of the servers who are in this case amazon web services they do provide the same web servicing uh, services for the u.s department of defense you will understand the Pentagon will note buy services from a company that does not have that capability to actually defeat all those things that they were saying. Nobody hacked into the servers. As, I, uh, as uh, Amazon said before, during and after the elections, it worked very, very well. So you're, you're telling idea. us that INEC lied about the fact that their system was hacked or that the, yes, the fact yes, that they had yes, issues. Yes, yes, yes. So, so INEC, INEC lied 100%. It was INEC lied and INEC did that. They were caught unawares. The things were working very well until they were instructed to block. INEC put, they were pressurized by politicians to undermine the process because if you check on the same day the results for the national assembly election were politely progressively uploaded no problem nothing happened to the INEC server we have gotten that confirmation from those who hosted the server amazon web services nothing happened before nothing happened during nothing happened afterwards if anything happened with the server we will have known it was simply a political decision taken by those who saw that the exit polls did not favor what they wanted to have 
that was why they were instructed to block the further functioning of the progressive uploading of the presidential election results. That for the National Assembly were properly uploaded, there were no problem, and there is still no problem with all those issues. That's why INEC is having problem. It's not going to be able to get Amazon to admit what Mualdai Mohammed said in America. That was a big lie. Nobody hacked into the servers. Nobody was able to hack into anybody's servers. It's very good. And that's why we have today subpoenaed the, the uh, we have subpoenaed the uh, Amazon Web Services and they are coming to Nigeria to testify that nobody hacked into their server before, during, and after the elections. Whatever happened here were human mistakes that were done deliberately simply to undermine the process. And one thing I can tell you, in 1993, the result of a presidential election was annulled. And in each place, we had a batch of manufactured. What we had that time was instability because of the annulment of that election. I can assure you that due to the annulment of the election of the original results of a presidential election, the country is going to run into instability. Take that to the bank. You cannot re resist it. Welcome back. Don't forget to like our videos. Don't forget to share it to people in Nigeria and in diaspora. If you are an incoming subscriber, don't forget to tap the subscribe button. And if you are an already existing subscriber, don't forget to tap the notification bell so you could get a notification from us anytime we drop an update. Yes, do that for us because we love you. Now, um, straightforwardly, my take on that is those secrets were much. These were things that have been waiting to be exposed by Nigerians, okay, and nobody has gotten the courage to do so. So, for uh, Mr. Ononu Jukash to come out and say this, that means he's a very strong one. And do you know what? This is one of the evidences of the Labour Party in court. Yes, the Sahara Company were the same company that produced the Bimodal Voters Accreditation System, the BVAS machines that were used during the elections um, in February. And this same company are the same company that is in charge of uh, logistics and um, ICT for the defense um, headquarters in the US. So, there is nowhere to run. There is nowhere to hide. Well, we'll see when hearing begins properly how they'll be invited to serve as witnesses. Evidence 1 or evidence 2. Depends on um, the tribunal's discretion. Yes, over to the matter of the same day. Um, the chairman of the Niger Delta Volunteer Force, NDVF, Chief Asari Dokubo, has called out Peter Obi for wrong reasons that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party should be quickly arrested, okay, and um, incarcerated with quick and immediate effect for reasons we fail to understand. Of course, um, Asari Dokubo belongs to the APC and is loyal to the APC, so we wouldn't um, see that as a shock, but... Listen to reasons why Asari wants Peter Obi to be um, arrested. Of course, after hearing this, you will look for a policeman or you look for the whole police force to arrest Asari Dokubo instead, instead of Peter Obi. Because um, Peter Obi has come out a number of times too. Okay, let me not let the cat out of the bag. Let me allow you to watch Asari Dokubo say what he wants to say. After that, we'll talk about it. In a normal country, Obi will be in prison. In a normal country, Obi, Peter Obi, will be, will be in prison for a very long time to come. This is a man proven, took state money, invested in his family private business. The business failed. Anambra said cannot recover his money again. A thief! That is, that is our quarrel with it. This man is a common criminal, a thief, who has stolen Anambra people's money. He has not, he admitted that he, he invested Anambra money. He used his position. If it is in China, he would have been executed a long time ago. That this, this, this glorified Yahoo Yahoo opened his mouth to talk. Nobody would have noticed Peter B. If you people were not abusing, you call. 
Yeah, now you go rest in peace, Charlie Solomon. You are already resting in peace. Oh, now go fail, scatter. Why are you people like this? Praying. You rest in peace. Hey, your uh, guy is now in Anwisha. I'm <laughs> Anwisha. I will not be the first person to be on which. That was an American president. <laughs> wow, that's very funny. Very, very funny. In as much as it is funny, in as much as it sounds funny, it is also a serious matter because these are serious allegations laid down by Asari Dokubo. Why will you just come up from the blues and start making such claims, okay? While Peter Obi has come out a number of times on air to declare that no issue of that sort was seen during his administration in fact peter obi while he was the governor of um anambra state left the anambra coffers and accounts better than he met it in fact he left the anambra state accounts with over over five billion naira in the accounts which is um something worthy something no governor has done or something only few governors have done over time to a kind of upgrade and up, up and up, uplift the polity in their own state as well as uh, as impacting positively into the polity of Nigeria. So um, I would urge Asari Dokubo to make his um, claims or to really make his researches so so accurately before he comes out to make um, claims or to stage accusations over an innocent man like that. That is that I will see you in a while with for, for my next video. So don't touch that dial. Always stay glued to Nation's Voice Tower. We'll always bring you updates on politics back to back. See you next time. Bye.